Hello, Tim from Fair Play Now on the 27th of August 2021. There's two types of line. And I don't know if you've considered this before, but number one is line by commission. That is when you come out with an actual lie uh, or untruth to further whatever nefarious agenda or plot that you might have. The other type of line is line by omission. That is when you should be saying something but not saying it again to cover something up um, and again to normally sort of further some kind of nefarious agenda. In my mind, both of them are equally as bad and both of them makes the perpetrator of such lies um, nefarious, untrustworthy and, well, you have to sort of really ask yourself the question if someone is lying and you can prove that they're lying, A, what are they up to and B, why would anyone still be listening to them? Now, I have got first-hand experience and 100% proof evidence that the mainstream media are liars and that they are lying through omission. First time I came across this, 100% for sure, was on the 24th of April when I attended my first freedom walkabout through the streets of London and fully expecting, having seen that the vast numbers of everyday, ordinary, concerned citizens fighting for freedom and not seeing anything reported on it whatsoever in the sort of mainstream media. And then I have had other proof of this as I've been on various other freedom walkabouts throughout uh, London uh, since then. And I fully expect that after tomorrow, when I'm going on another freedom walk about uh, up in London. No doubt I'll come back off that and Saturday night, Sunday morning, I won't see any kind of reporting from the mainstream media on it whatsoever. Or if there is any kind of reporting, it will be highly unrepresentative and it will be making the people, my sort of fellow freedom walkabouters, uh, sort of look like sort of people that we're not, far from painting us as con just concerned citizens, they'll be painting us in some sort of uh, poor light, no doubt. So that would be the line by commission, of course, and many of them probably won't report on anything at all, uh, including the BBC, probably. So that is line by omission. So as far as I'm concerned, this is 100% proof that the mainstream media, including the BBC, are liars. They're not to be trusted whatsoever. And you have to ask yourself, what are they up to? Why are they lying? And now that you've got proof, well via me, uh, proof and evidence that they are liars, why are you still listening to them and kind of taking what they say as gospel? Because if they're lying about that, what else are they lying about? And it's probably pretty much everything, to be honest with you. At least you have to sort of take everything they say as or with a pinch of salt because you really do have to ask yourself, why on earth would these people be lying? What are they hiding? What are they covering up? And 
it is time to realise this truth and realise that these people, no matter how much you've trusted them in the past, are not to be trusted right now. Uh, I'm going to draw a little bit of an analogy. Uh, You might recall, well, you no doubt recall the tragic events of, I think it was 2014, I believe, about March 2014, uh, when the Malaysian Airways Airlines flight MH370 went missing, kind of totally disappeared, and to this day, nobody knows where it went. Uh, I've seen various theories about what happened with that and I think the most credible one that I've seen is that the pilot, the captain, who was suffering from a lot of problems wanted to basically commit suicide and he chose to do so by um, sort of flying his plane in a, a bit of a sort of circuit, you know, circuitous route uh, until he was able just to sort of fly out over the ocean until the fuel ran out and killing himself and obviously taking a lot of innocent people with him. Now the point of this is and why it ties in with you know, the authorities and the uh, mainstream media is that obviously the captain of a major airline is someone who you'd think you could trust. But what happens when they don't deserve that trust? What happens if they are up to nefarious things, which is putting a lot of people's lives in danger? It does happen. It has happened a lot in the past. And I believe it is what is happening now. So you really, and, and kind of that explanation of that uh, tragic air accident, um, well, if you can call it an accident, uh, is kind of proof that these things can happen, that figures of authority, institutions of authority, a lot of the time cannot be trusted. So I'm going to leave that thought with you. I'm going to make preparations now to uh, go on my uh, freedom walkabout uh, tomorrow. I'm going to make my way up to London, probably get to Hyde Park somewhere around uh, midday or half 11 to, to midday. And uh, hopefully I'll see you there if you're going to go. Otherwise, I'll be shooting uh, plenty of footage. I'm preparing for it. I've got uh, batteries on charge over there. Uh, for the camera and bits and pieces so uh, stay tuned for tomorrow and Sunday when I'll be uploading footage of what is hopefully going to be the most massive um, sort of freedom walkabout yet and we need to uh, get the numbers up there because time is starting to run out with the uh, big V passes and the big V for uh, so people under the age of uh, 12, I think, it, sorry, under the age of 15, uh, between 12 and 15. And of course, all for something that they, people in that particular age group, stand almost no chance of sort of dying from. People might be telling you uh, in the mainstream media, that people of that kind of age are dying of it. But I've just shown you, proved to you, that you can't trust that source for information. And I think we can trust virologists and doctors who say that that age group aren't at risk. And in fact, they're far more at risk from a certain treatment than they are from a certain lurgy. And that is the reason I'm going on the Freedom Walkabout. So I'll finish this on that thought. Be back tomorrow with, as, as, as I say, footage of what happens tomorrow. Tim from Fairplay now. Thanks for watching.